the UK is proud to hold the pen on all three of them. Uh, none of them are top of the news agenda, but they are all important. First of all, we have an adoption on Libya. Uh, extending the UN mission there for a further year and it'll be a crucial year uh, for the uh, people and the authorities of the country to come together to implement the Libyan political agreement and we look forward to working closely with Hassan Salame and Secretary General Guterres uh, on that. Then we have Colombia uh, and an adoption uh, of a resolution establishing a second political mission there to help uh, the parties oversee the reincorporation into uh, normal life uh, of the former FARC uh, members. And that is an important moment for the Security Council to come together and be united and to demonstrate that we're with the government of Colombia and indeed the, all the parties as they implement the peace agreement. And then thirdly, on Darfur in Sudan, we have uh, an important opportunity to hear from the UN about how the uh, force in Darfur is being reconfigured, uh, how the cooperation is going uh, with the government of Sudan, uh, and so on. And what about the mission that the Colombian president asked for to accompany the ceasefire with the ELN? Are you confident it's going to be approved? Well, we've already had good discussions uh, about that with our council colleagues, and we are. there are a number of different ways that that um, request can be acceded to. Everyone in the council wants uh, to help the president of Colombia, the government of Colombia, all the parties uh, to uh, oversee this very important ceasefire, which we, which we warmly welcome. Do you expect any time for that decision to come, like sooner or any day on which, you know, when this... I think it'll be sooner rather than later, but we, we're taking our time to make sure that everyone is happy. And announcing his mediation board yesterday, yeah. the Secretary General uh, was asked like, what crisis he thought there could be a real breakthrough on, and he said Libya. Yeah. Uh, do you share his assessment, and w where do you see that breakthrough coming from? First of all, and very sadly, the uh, world uh, is not short of crises that could do with some mediation. Uh, Burma, uh, Myanmar is another good example where the Secretary General himself has uh, offered some outstanding moral uh, leadership, I think, which, which we strongly support and which, as you know, we are very active in the Security Council on both yesterday and then into next week with our ministers here. Uh, North Korea, uh, there is some important mediation ahead uh, there behind the scenes for, for someone to do. Uh, and on Libya, uh, we have a, a strong political process, uh, I think, un under the UN and leadership, we have a process that will bring the people together, will help them amend their political agreement uh, and implement it, and that is what the country needs so that it can tackle uh, the threat from terrorism, it can tackle the threat from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from, from criminal gangs who are, make, who are abusing uh, so many migrants as they, as they leave Libya. And do you think the North Korea issue will sort of overshadow or shadow over <laughs> Unga, mm. cast a shadow over Unga this year? It will be one of the big issues of the week because it is the biggest security threat that the world faces and it's right that as we have presidents, prime ministers and ministers here that they tackle the biggest issues and North Korea I'm afraid is, is right at the top of the agenda. Okay. On Darfur, yes. have you seen the report that the team sites are being turned over to government and the government is putting government militias in them and what should the UN do about it? The UN in afternoon? Yeah, we're following that very carefully and we want to make sure that the government of Sudan is, is providing full cooperation to UNAMID uh, in Darfur, the UN force in Darfur, uh, that it is uh, cooperating fully, uh, that there is full access for the UN uh, and that uh, the UN is able to fulfill the whole of its mandate. And let's not forget that the primary responsibility for the government in any country uh, is protection of civilians. It's the government that is responsible for that. Uh, and we have, in the case of Darfur, an important UN force uh, that, is, that is doing that as well. But aren't those sites supposed to only be for civilian use? There seems to be some dispute about, about who they've been transferred to and how they could be transferred back to civilian use. We'll get back to you on that. Okay, okay thanks very much, everyone. Thank you.